So breaking tonight, a nightmare in the sky. A plane engine catches fire, causing debris to shower a Colorado neighborhood. The images are incredible. You can see large chunks of metal on the ground in northwest Denver. United Airlines Flight 328 took off for Hawaii and quickly made the mayday call. Its crew reported an engine issue and turned back to the airport. The jet, packed with people and fuel for the long trans-Pacific journey, landed safely. Fox 46's chief transportation, transportation correspondent, Hawker Vanguard, breaks down what likely happened inside the cabin and the questions that remain. The images coming out of Denver of United Flight 238 that crippled Boeing 777 are shocking to say the least. In the aviation world, we call that an uncontained engine failure. That's when parts of the turbine separate in all directions, usually very explosively. That could have been a part like this compressor blade here, though in the case of that 777 would have been much larger. The casing around the engine though is designed to take that brunt force of the explosion. You might think of it kind of like a bulletproof vest around the engine, protecting the aircraft cabin from shrapnel. Now, after the engine experienced that failure, passengers inside the cabin likely heard a very large bang. Flight attendants would have immediately prepared for an emergency landing by demonstrating the brace position and reminding passengers of the location of emergency exits in case of an evacuation on the ground. On the flight deck, a very busy environment. At the first sign of trouble, pilots are trained to go for their QRH or Quick Reference Handbook to run checklists. That's followed by a call to air traffic control and the flight's dispatcher. Now the Boeing 777 did have about 25 minutes in the air. It circled back around to runway 27 at Denver International. They were met by fire personnel there. All 231 passengers and 10 crew members were uninjured. Nobody sustained any injuries. Now it's up to the FAA and NTSB, the National Transportation Safety Board, to find out what exactly went wrong. I'm Hawker Vanguard, Fox 46. Hawker, thanks, and check out this uh, video here. A piece of the plane came crashing through the roof of a home, leaving a pretty sizable hole there. The residents say at first they thought the plane was crashing.